What's up internet this is Manish from rebellionrider.com and I'm back once again with another SQL tutorial and in today's SQL tutorial we will talk about on delete sentinel clause of foreign key constraint. Before jumping ahead I'll suggest you to watch my previous video on foreign key. It will help you to understand the concept of on delete sentinel clause. You can find its link in the description below. You can visit my website to read and have in-depth knowledge of on delete sentinel clause. Again link is in the description below. Okay then let's move ahead. In the last tutorial of foreign key we created two tables by the name of authors and books with simple foreign key where author is our parent table and book is our child table. Let's check them out. Our parent table has two column author id and author name where author id is a primary key and child table has three columns book id, book title, book author id and we have foreign key on the third column book author id. We created these two table with simple foreign key means without any clause such as on delete sentinel or on delete cascade. Whenever we define a simple foreign key without any clause then oracle puts a default clause this is on delete no action in which you can update the rows of parent table but cannot delete them. Let's check. I have already inserted some data in author and book table. Let's first try to update the first row of parent table author where author id is 1 and author name is Bob. But before that let me set my SQL developer tool so that you people can see what's going on in here. Okay I think it's now clean and clear. Let's update the first row of our parent table author. execute. Let's refresh here. As you can see we have successfully updated the column. Now let's try to delete this row. Execute. As you can see on attempt to delete this row we got integrity constraint violation error. To avoid this error we have clause like on delete sentinel and on delete cascade. Today we will see on delete sentinel. To demonstrate this I have to alter the foreign key constraint on child table books but unfortunately we do not have any alter table DDL to modify or alter constraint. So to modify our already defined foreign key constraint on child table books either we can drop the constraint and recreate it or we can drop the whole table and recreate it. Both these ways have advantage as well as disadvantages. To make this easy to understand I am going to drop my child table books and recreate it but this time with on delete sentinel foreign key constraint. Step 1 drop the child table books. Let me clear the script output so that you can see the outputs. Execute table books dropped. Step 2 recreate the child table with on delete sentinel foreign key constraint. Let's format the code. Okay, that's our create table statement from here. Let me separate it from the others. Okay, execute table books created. Step 3 We have recreated child table books, but this time with own delete sentinel clause. We can check it by executing a query on user constraints data dictionary. I already have the query. You can select constraint name, constraint type and delete rule from 
user constraint and as we are checking it on our child table books that's why we have table name books in our where clause let's execute book call 3 fk that's our constraint name and r is for referential integrity constraint which is also known as foreign key and delete rule is set null let's insert some data into this table i already have the insert commands or insert a statement to save the time okay let's execute and we got an error and that's because we didn't select the whole table or whole query execute it separately okay and we must be having five rows in our book table yes we have a five row now let's delete some data from parent table authors and see what happened to corresponding data in child table books let's delete first row from author table where we have author id 1 and author name nick let me show you author we are going to delete this first row author id 1 and author name nick get back to our book and this row has two reference row in child table books row 1 here as you can see book author id is 1 and row 5 again book author id is 1 so let's see what happened to these two rows when we delete the parent row from the author table let me clear it first clear the script output also execute and now let's refresh the data of our child table books as you can see corresponding value to the row are automatically set to null that's because we define foreign key on our child table books with on delete set null clause you can visit my website to read more about on delete set null concept that's it for today hope you enjoyed this tutorial you can connect with me on my twitter facebook linkedin all the details are in the description you can also help me spread the words by sharing my videos on your social networking i appreciate your help i'll be back soon with another sql tutorial till then take care and keep watching my videos have a good day this is manish